All right, getting your daily fruits and veggies is very important and they taste even better when they're fresh. Michael Marks is live at the Auburn Farmers Market with a look at some of the today's vendors. Okay, Michael, did you find something unique today? Yes, indeed. I'm going to try to find something unique. Uh, I, I got very excited when I started seeing some of this uh, product here. One of the first things I saw, look at this beautiful celery. Look at Ooh. the tops of the celery yes. are still on this celery. Absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing like when I'm driving in Salinas, you know when they're harvesting celery. Uh, it, the, the aroma, there's nothing like it. It's the most beautiful really? thing. I just pull okay. over and I just sit there as they're, <laughs> as they're harvesting celery. But the aroma is so great. But I love this. Look at all the leaves on use the leaves Beautiful. my goodness they're they're nice. perfect and i was going by and i was looking at something i said these mm. beets wow. are beet 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 these beets are yes these beets are absolutely perfect look at the size very few of them are more than one inch in diameter Whoa. but look at the size of these gorgeous beets and look at the Ch chiagio beets these dark uh, purple beets it's called a chiagio beet absolutely gorgeous uh, by the way i saw these radishes the, oh. look that's a huge bunch of radish that is that's like two in the store right. i mean that's huge by the way when you get these home if the tops are clean use the tops in your salad but oh. the first thing you need to do you need to take off you need to take off uh the root because the roots, uh, th these leaves will draw moisture from the roots. So the first thing you do when you get home, take these roots off and put this in a, a Tupperware thing and then just throw water in there. Oh, okay. Put water in there, let, it, let them uh, soak in water. Uh, by the way, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here, there it is. The only vegetable never allowed aboard no, a nuclear powered submarine. Leeks. The leeks? Leeks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> leeks, not. I, How many Jordan, times did have you get you said it? this joke? I, I got it like now. 52 I, times. I don't think I've it heard it in a while because no. I've never cooked a leek, so I don't. Or had, I've never had a leek. And finally, one of the things I, I love about these oh, carrots, do you, do you notice these carrots? These carrots are not really pointed. Like See how they're rounded at the bottom? Yeah. That is a perfect carrot. When the carrots are really pointed, yeah. that means they're searching for water. They're going deep searching for water, that and they're crazy. under stress. That's when you get those, those bitter flavors in the carrot. But when you see carrots like this, that are rounded at the bottom, that is when uh, you're gonna ah. see some beautiful carrots. By the way, uh, turn to your right over here. Look at these beautiful berries. Uh, now these berries are coming from Watsonville right now. We've got raspberries, we've got blackberries and strawberries. And one of the things I was asking the, the farmer here, do they have their berries covered? Because many of the berries down in Watsonville are covered. These are not. So what does that tell you? This rain that you're sending to Watsonville that means we won't have berries probably for the next two weeks. Oh, so no. if you need berries, come on over and grab them because we won't have them for two weeks. So anyway, hey, back to you guys. All right, there you go. Right. So beautiful. I had no idea that you still, we could still get mm. berries at this time of year. Thank you.